going on, Grade A Army? Guys, today we're switching things up a little bit. So I, uh, you know, feel like uh, trying a little bit of Tomb Chaos. Um, I only say that just because there's some really rare cards in here that are worth hunting, and I've opened up probably around 40 of these blisters without finding a single one. So, if y'all are down to help me search for this, today's video and probably tomorrow's, we're going to do some Yu-Gi-Oh! Of course, I'm going to open up some Pokemon cards at the end, but this is just more of a, you know, a personal hunt for me. This is what I want to do. Uh, right off the bat, the rare cards that they came out with are called Collector's Rares, and these Collector's Rares have like a full art hollow to them, which Yu-Gi-Oh! cards apparently do not usually. I thought they looked sick, so I got in on it. Don't judge me. Yes, I follow the crowd. <sighs> Bite me. Just kidding. Please don't. Especially with the pandemic. But, let me crack and open some Toon Chaos. So, back in the day, way back in like early 2000s, the, uh, I did collect some Yu-Gi-Oh! as a kid. And they did have Tune cards. And these Tune cards were awesome Yu-Gi-Oh cards. They're basically just cartoon versions of the regular cards and they were super strong. So they brought those back in this set and it's a mix for everyone being super nostalgic about it and super after those rare cards, which are worth a lot, up to like two to $300, depending on which one you get. So we're gonna go through this. We're gonna have some fun. Um, yeah, right off the bat, this is a Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Evening Twilight. And what I found is that Ultra Rares, which have gold titles in their names, are the ones that you want to go after, besides the, uh, you know, the Collector's Rare. I think this is the rare coming up. Ooh, Toon Terror. This should be worth a couple bucks, nothing crazy. But we have a number 68 Santa, Santa Fond, the Sky Prison, Masked Hero Vapor, Code Generator, and yeah, blister number two. That is how it's gone for 40 blisters for me. I've opened up 40 of these blisters, and other people are like, oh yeah, I opened up five and I got two of these collector's rares. Y'all know how I feel. This reminds me of back when I opened up 300 plus packs of Hidden Fates and couldn't pull a single shiny Zard. Great A Army, send me your luck. I need it. Shoot, if we pull a Collector's Rare here, I will, I'll freak out. I'll do it. Because they're shiny, they're worth a lot, and shoot, I want one. So, on a side note, I hope you all don't sub unsubscribe. It's just a couple time thing. Witch of the Black Forest. We have Black Luster Soldier, another Envoy of the Evening Twilight. We have Masked Hero Blast, uncreative name. And Chaos Space. This one should be worth a couple dollars actually. Well, that's not bad. Co-Generator, Toon World. This is one of the um, revamp cards that they had back in 2003 or so. Ooh, that's cool, Chaos Emperor Dragon, Envoy of the End. Uh, but basically, you had to play the Tomb World card to play the Tomb card, so... I don't know, you're talking to a novice here, but... I really want a really shiny card. Yeah, that's about it. Alright, Tomb Chaos. I have pulled some decent cards. Um, some cards that are worth $40 plus, but... You know... These are kind of hard to find too. I uh, went around to a few Walmarts and was only able to find a certain amount. Masked Hero Diane. There is a Black Luster Soldier Envoy of the Beginning. The Toon version is one of the uh, pack arts that you see. Crossover. And Masked Hero Acid. That one is not really worth anything. Okay, another Chaos Dragon. Mud Dragon of the Swamp. Toon World. <sighs> Alright, we just gotta believe, Great A Army. Right now, we need to freaking believe in this. Do you believe? Because I believe. I believe. Alright, but we need to pull a freaking collector's rare because... Look. It's been 40 to 50 blisters. 
And I think the ratio is like one out of every 60 packs or so, especially if they come from a box. So you'd think eventually we'd get one, right? Dark Flare Dragon, Psy Flame Driver, and another Toon Terror. Ah, ooh, Stardust Dragon, that one's cool. Dwarf Star Dragon Planeter, Plan, Plan Eater? Plan, Planeter, Plan Eater. <laughs> I, uh, I have this little Deoxys figure that New Island Games gave to me in a mystery box a while back, and he just kind of stares at me every now and then, just judgingly. <laughs> Like, I look up and there's just this face like, what are you doing? The freak is wrong with you. Really? You you dropped all this money on packs when you haven't opened up one yet? Alright. <clears throat> Maybe that's just my internal voice. Probably just my internal voice. Alright, y'all. We got two more packs and I'll crack open some Pokemon cards. Tomb Chaos. <sighs> okay, Witch of the Black Forest, something or another, another hero, and Micro Coder, that one's not good either. Well, that's interesting. True King Lith Lithocygium, the disaster. One thing about Yu-Gi-Oh cards I've noticed is their names make very little sense, but it's all good. I mean, granted, Pokemon names don't really make much sense either, but at least they're easy to say, you know? Well, then you have, like, Nag Naganadol, which is tough. Alright, last Doom Chaos pack. Let's get it, y'all. I hope you enjoy this little switch up, you know? Masked Hero Dian, Light Pulsar Dragon, Curse of Dragonfire... And a Toon Harpy Lady. This one isn't worth a ton, but it is our first Hollow Toon card. There you go. She does have a regular card as well. Stardust Dragon, Envoy of Chaos, Synetic Codec. Alright, so honestly, the best card out of all that was probably the Chaos Space, which is maybe worth three bucks. So that wasn't, uh, wasn't the best, but you know. Alright, Chaos Space. All right, let's see what PX, PX, packs we have over here. We can crack open this XY base set. Let's do that. Freshen our palette. All right, right off the bat, we have Pikachu, Darkness Energy, Weedle, Zarua, Venipede. We have a Reverse Hollow Hone Edge and a Non Hollow Swellow. These came from New Island again, so curse his name. Code card. It doesn't feel like it's been that long since X and Y came out, but it's been a minute. I mean, what's it been? Four years? Five years now? Shoot, look, we have some Roaring Skies left. I didn't even realize. Yo, let's crack those open. Maybe we can pull another Full Art Rayquaza. Rayquaza, whatever you want to say. We got... Cascoon, Meowth, all happy. <sighs> Again, we have a Pikachu, whoa, uh -oh. a Bagon, Reverse Hollow Electric, and Zatu. How do you do, Zatu? Steven, I thought that said seven for a second. Executor, yo, look at this artwork. It's taking on a ton of Spiro and kicking some A. And there is your code card. All right, Grady Army, I think we're going to stop there. I'll catch you in the next vid. Thank you for being here and indulging me a little bit. Um, like I said, we'll be back to full Pokemon card opening. Uh, especially with the news about Darkness Ablaze, expect me to open up a lot of that. We're going to be hunting that Rainbow Charizard if it is included in that set. Also, if you haven't heard about that, go check it out. There's a new Rainbow Rare Charizard and a Full Art Promo Charizard that are only given away in special tournaments out in Japan. 
and there's only gonna be like 600 of the rainbow and like a couple thousand of the full art so uh yeah it's hype go check it out anyways grady army i'll catch you in the next video i hope you're having an awesome week and i hope you did have a good weekend i'll uh i'll catch you next time love y'all bye